So guys, um, welcome back to uh, Comic Art Channel. We got my buddy Yoke Curry on. Um, auction Heritage auction just passed, so you know before Thanksgiving we got to get a nice little auction and market talk. Um, yeah, I mean let's go through this auction. Few a bunch of pieces that we want to maybe look at. Yo, know, I I think this is a tale of two auctions. We were talking about this, you know, during, but there was a flat to weak Thursday, Friday auction. And then there was a Sunday, everybody showed up and went nuts auction. Would you agree? I I guess so. I mean, I I thought I still thought there were some pretty big prices earlier earlier in the auction. I guess it was just a couple of notable notable spots where it was a little weak, but I, I was impressed by the strength overall. But I know what you're talking about. I know we we were talking about some of the Jim Lee pieces on Thursday. Seemed like they went a little lower than they normally do. There was that double page spread from uh, 268. I guess it's just, it's Captain America fighting ninjas. So no X-Men to be seen. Maybe people that are more character focused didn't show up for that. If if you don't have Wolverine in, in it. Um, but yeah, that one's in my list. Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to jump that, um... but, but, uh, but yeah, there were a couple. There were a couple of things that didn't go quite as strong as you might have might have thought. Um, and then, and then to your point on Sunday, as you'll see, there were a number of things that I placed like little value bids on, just hoping that somehow this market was going to be weak. Um, but the bids just got blown away. So, so um, yeah, time and time again, I just did, I felt I felt like I didn't win anything on the cheap. In fact, I only won one thing. So, so uh, I would agree with, I would agree with that. Uh, well, maybe we'll get to um, that one thing you won. Yes. Um, which. And like, my behavior. You know, you were pretty, pretty, um, pretty targeted in, right? It was the, it was the one piece that I really wanted. And unfortunately, the the artist the artist's name is later in the alphabet so it definitely influenced my ability to bid on anything before that um, which is why i put in the, these these weak little a lot of weak little bids that really realistically had no chance of of uh of winning on, on some of the yeah. earlier things so a lot a lot of these are things that that i actually bid on um, and this one, this was one of them, this, uh, grew number eight, uh, uh page six. It, it was, it was from the, the, uh, image series in the nineties, which I actually never read, but I just, I just thought that this was, I, I was mainly a fan of the strip in the eighties. And I actually picked up a really nice grew page, um, off of comic art fans, um, recently. Um, that I that I like quite a bit, but this was this was just a charming piece, and 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 uh, with Ruferto um, just showing his his undying um, dedication and devotion and reverence for his his master, which is pretty much you know dogs can't dogs don't know that that y y you might be a schmuck in real life, so that's why everybody likes dogs <laughs> because they're not very discerning. Um, yeah, so it starts off the top left corner. Um, they seem to be loading a caravan. He is so observant, right? And then they go to the set, the next <laughs> panel. A great, great illustration here, right? As you expect from Aragonis, all the little details. Um, perhaps they need a guard. And in the bottom, you, you just scroll up a little bit. Refer to says, "You are a good guard." Do you need a great swordsman to protect you? He is a great swordsman. So that's how my dog feels about me, and and I, I can be rather grew like in many aspects of my life. So wow. um, I, I, I I I just thought it was really charming. Um, I put in, you know, some some bids way lower than where it ended up going for. It seems this seems pretty high. 
um, for I think group yeah. I don't know. I don't know the market. I'm, you know, I mean, I'll I'll look at them, but yeah. um, no way. You know, I I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't seem like like it um, seems high. It seems high. It seems like the. Um... But it does seem like they've been going for more recently. But I remember like a couple of years ago, there was a complete that or maybe complete interiors that sold for maybe 12,000 total. Yeah. Um, so so it, it, yeah, but I think any 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 page that has it has a cute dog, it has it has a dog bit in it. There are a lot of dog owners out there and they tend to yeah. go higher. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, um, I, I mean, I, I'm sure I know that there are a lot of people that wouldn't mind having a group page, but, and they don't, it's not like they're in heritage like all the time, but um, this was in the sun, which, which day was this? Um, I feel like it was a Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Yeah. yeah November 20th. It was Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, the way I look at it is this. Myself included thought, hey, there's going to be some softness here. Like, and how soft is it going to be? The prime stuff, I mean, there's there's still going to be like rich, aggressive bitter. So the best of the best stuff. You know, so, you know, whatever you might think about Calvin and Hobbes that Sunday and whether or not, you know, um, what did it go at? You know, 500 or something like that. Yeah. Um, a little, little under. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether or not that's over or undervalued, but it's still a lot of money, you know? And so it, that probably wasn't impacted, you know? And then, you know, maybe some other pages that we'll discuss um, that come up, but I feel like there were a, a lot of spots of softness, especially on Friday. And then, but there wasn't like a total collapse and people are like, oh, it seems like prices are not crashing and just had a, a lot more confidence going into Sunday, especially after like a, for the first few lots, like with a few aggressive bidders. I mean, that's how, kind of how I felt too, you know? Where you're watching, you're like, oh man, this today is really strong. You know, maybe everything's okay. You know, go after what you have to go after, you know? And so, I mean, that, that's really my take on it is a lot of confidence came back on Sunday because, you know, although a lot of things took like, seem like they took for me 20% or more hits from earlier in the year, right? um you know that i mean they still looked like strong prices you know and um yeah i mean who knows you know but it, i mean to me like the performance on sunday was incredible you know it was just lot after lot was like you know we're back in the summer or you know early summer of 2022 yeah. Well, um, I, I, I look think at this price, this group price. I mean, look, you know, it's just like, come on, man. If this went on Friday, I don't think this would be the number. I think it was, it would be under at least four, you know, maybe nah, under three. And it might have been higher on Friday because you just got a different group of buyers. I also find that that on the on the on the on the, on the later days of an auction, the the ones going up first tend to do better than the ones that are later sort of buried at the end of the auction. The, those some, some of those, sometimes people, people get tired of waiting around. They got to go take the kids to, uh, to Costco. Uh, well, no, you know, in or to soccer practice and then it just run errands. So, so I just feel like, I feel like the, the, some of the later ones sometimes, but this is Aragon is starting with a, so it was one of the first ones that went off uh, a lot of eyes <laughs> on it. So pretty strong. Uh, um, you know, maybe, maybe Mike Zach, not so much, but, um, uh, but I, I will say that, that, you know, when I think about it, I mean, 
we're waiting we're seeing what happens happening in the asset market we're waiting for a collapse that doesn't seem to be happening and we can't forget that dealers are bidding on almost every single lot right so to to get a truly soft market um you're going to need those guys to buy stuff and then have trouble selling it so 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 they they don't feel like they want to restock on inventory they don't feel like they can then hold on to it and then six months later flip it for more than they bought it for or or 12 months later um so you know until that game goes away of them buying and flipping and you know to dumbass mfers that that you know could have bought it you know, for a lower price at auction um then then you're always going to have this underlying bid and then you know there's that guy on uh, on uh, calf who 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 he, he you know he buys like a hundred pieces in every signature auction and he posts wow. it all online you know god bless him um wow. the guy loves this stuff he's got a big budget and you know it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see what he likes he's got very broad taste and you know if he's if he's if maybe he's winning a he hundred maybe he if he's winning a hundred what is he bidding on he must be bidding on like 300 so he's got to be bidding on at least like a third of every signature auction so he's pumping up prices too and then who knows maybe there's another guy like him out there that isn't posting on calf that we don't we can't you know like just gawk at in amazement so there, there's a number of things that may be keeping this thing stronger. And then, shit, you know, who wants to put their money in in stocks? I mean, this is way more fun. So, so yeah. there's that too. Um, yeah. You know, if you if you feel like, oh, like you know, am, buying Amazon, you know, on every dip is no longer working for me, then you know, what else are you going to do with your money? I don't know. It, it, it seems, Makes sense. Uh, yeah. All right. Check this out. Uh, DC style guide. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. 10 grand for this. Wow. Um, you, know, you can get that on the yeah. internet for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, all of them. Um, you know, I was shocked by this price. And... Um, mm -hmm. It's just a very shapely, uh, very shapely bad girl. Um, I guess here it shows a wonder, a nice Wonder Woman from last year, twenty twenty one, going for almost twenty grand. But I don't know. I mean, is it is it because it's Bat Girl? Um, We've been seeing a lot of these recently. These um, style guide things um from him he's a great artist i mean there, there was oh, yeah. another there was another was there a teen titans page of his in the in the auction there that was, was also a lot of his art. yeah that was really good it went it went really strong that guy could draw i mean he was he was pretty awesome but i yeah. agree that's a that's a pretty big price for for a style guide you, maybe we can see yeah like see all what of the other ones are going very for. strong you know those two yeah. in there. Um, these two, these are most recent. Let's let's look at best match. Is it just showing uh plastic man? Huh. I thought I, I feel like I've seen more of these. Yeah, no, this is uh something's wrong here. Yeah. Hall. Oh. Maybe it was a different artist. I hear. Yeah, so we've got um, a steady stream, mid four figures. It looks like. Yeah, it's probably some dude who had who bought them all at the time and and is decide is unloading them now. You know, in one one in every auction. Superman went for eighteen. Ah, I uh, guess I guess it is an incredible price. Yeah, the and and then there's one with all these with with all these different characters and went for seventeen. Um, do you see this one? I just I just I just typed in DC style guide um, and, and and all these popped up. Then uh, 
Yeah, man. Batman went for 11,000 in June. Uh, it, it, they seem pretty um, inconsistent. Yeah, I, I'm pretty strong though. Pretty strong pricing generally. Some overall. very strong, and some you know mid. Uh, some kind know, of weak figure. issue. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah, this action is just like I don't remember this at all. But wait, style guide, DC style guide. What was this used for? Was this actually published, or was this something for used in, internally? It was an in-house publication for internal DC use only. Legendary and fan oh. circles, chock full of fantastic line work. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I was just um, when it happened, I was surprised. I don't know why, but I was thinking, you know, mid four figures at the most. And then you know once it started getting here, I'm like, oh, that seems kind of high. Yeah. I guess it, the the results have been mixed. Okay. Brian Ballin. Now this is this is not one but two pages, two which I pages. thought was pretty cool. And two pages. Yeah. Um. So. The, I really I like the first page the best with Merlin. That was that was more my jam. Um, I just like the way that he was illustrated. Yeah. And uh, you know, like the like the sequence and then and then and then you get the shadow of um, Morgan Le Fay in the bottom corner. This is Terry this is um Terry Austin inking Brian Bolland. And I I generally don't like that as much as as Bolland inking Bolland, but he did a really good job on on that page on the on the on that page and then this page, you know, was a was kind of a cool moment in the book as well. Um, but because I was saving saving my uh, my coin for something else later, I couldn't really be all that aggressive. This is kind of where they've been trade been selling for. Um, they there's something about like Camelot 20, three thousand twenty six hundred uh, each. Yeah, yeah, that's it's about that's about in line with where they've been going, but it, it's 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 one of those things where his other works have gone up ridiculously, but then this one not so much. Um yeah. because I don't think people yeah, people maybe weren't in I I remember reading that book and really liking it when it when it was out. I mean, it's um, just not inked by him. It's not inked um, by him, right? So th there was um actually for Camelot 3000, Joseph Melchior um he he got this at auction. I think it was it, it was might have been in 2021. Um, it was Bolland inking Bolland doing Camelot 3000 with the full cast. So mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. it's a it was the who's who um, directory of the DC universe, and such a such an amazing amazing piece. It's like a double looks like I think it's a double page spread it was it was like a cover or something like that i think i remember seeing something like that yeah and it, it, it went for 14 with the juice and and just an amazing piece an amazing price and to get ball and dinking ball and is just is just super special so he, he he stole it i thought that was a steal whatever he paid for it um now it'll be it would be maybe maybe you type in Bolland Bolland who uh ball and who's who or Bolland directory. Uh, I think I remember that. Um, yeah. There it is. That's it. Freaking amazing piece. So good. Yeah. So you can you can there's just like a little bit of a difference, um, you know, with 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 um, just the refinement of, of, yeah. of, of all of the inking the you know, versus versus you know, no offense to Terry Austin. Um, I've who, read I've read that um, Ballin wasn't too happy when he saw like the first issue. Oh, yeah. Inks. And then so he. He started penciling like extremely tightly so that <laughs> it, it wouldn't get, you know. Yeah. Messed yeah. Up. 
So it's just interesting the artist inking the artist versus someone else inking that artist and what that does for values and what that does to how I appreciate the piece. So, um, and, and I, I think that'll come in later on in our discussion. Yeah. I mean, f from what I'm seeing, not like a ton of these pages come up, but you know, the, pay, the pricing doesn't seem to have, it hasn't skyrocketed no like the rest of his, his stuff. Yeah. So if you, you can still get really nice art by him for, for reasonable price, you know, just as long as you're okay with Terry Austin inking it. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. All new X-Men. Nice Double page spread. Jean Grey. History of Jean Grey, all in one. Pretty, um, you know, great layout. Yeah. Great kind of center, central image. Gosh. Shadow. Um, imminent is obviously um, modern master. Yeah, he's like your favorite artist's favorite artist. Yeah. Um, great book. This is this is uh, one of the first books I read when I got oh, really? back to reading. Yeah, yeah. Oh, After, wow. Uh, wow. Um, Jason, did you take a stab? At this? Yeah. No, I, I, oh. I have the cover, the three, the cover oh, okay. one and okay. two. That, uh, oh, so this is like, this is like, uh, you know, little, little nephew, little nephew uh, the page. Triptych, uh, yeah. Issue one and two cover. Okay. That's so, right. That's right. That, that, that is sick. That, that, uh, yeah, don't ever, don't ever. Uh, yeah. So from that perspective, I was interested in how this would do. Yeah. Yeah. How did it do yeah. relative to what you were thinking? I mean, um, you know, I think it's a great piece, you know, but uh, who knows what um, what it was worth coming in, you yeah. know, what the fair market value was coming in. I mean, I'd probably say something like half this maybe. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have thought. You know? There are a lot of Dark Phoenix fans out there, a lot of Gene Gray fans, a lot of, you know, lot of guys uh, that collect – yeah, I mean, what it comes down to is, um, you know, all comic art is one of one, right? Mm -hmm. But, and you could say that, but not all comic art is like, oh man, that's a un unique piece, right? There's like um, yeah. many pieces. Let's say that the, the last example of the Camelot 3000, right? Mm-hmm. Like you could trade those two. Or oh yeah, them, yeah. There's, or nothing, there's nothing page, like that right? remarkable about them, right? But this one, this one is is clearly looks like a really yeah. Well, like what would you replace this with, right? If this is something yeah. you like, yep. what can you replace this with? Let's say from this series. Yeah. You know that's like similar or whatever, right? I hope and the consigner's so, not sense, listening. You're gonna you're gonna make the consigner more. cry, Jason. Huh? <laughs> You're going to make the consigner cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's why, you know, that's why you get a number like this. Yeah. Probably is kind of just like you look I and go, that, yeah, that is one of a kind. That is dope. I mean, I, I if I were an X-Men fan, this would be Yeah, there's some that great um, um, DPSs and splashes in this series from Eminem, you know? Yeah, so, it tells her whole story in, in 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 one super cool image. Does it in a really cool way? Yeah, this must have been on calf. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this oh, before yeah? on calf, okay. or maybe I'm just remembering reading it. But mm. um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure the the consigner is pretty happy with it, and and you know, I as an owner of a nice piece of all new X Men. <laughs> I'm also very happy with yeah. with it. So, but that oh yeah, that and that was another Sunday piece. 
yeah. that was another Sunday piece. Okay, because look, these this type of action was not happening on Friday. You know, Thursday or Friday, it definitely was not happening. Where like, like what? oh man, you know, that's a big number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I thought this one was really interesting. It, um, just just because it's from the first issues of the Defenders, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, the Defenders has always always seemed to me. I mean, not that I ever really read it, but it always seemed to me as kind of like the like the loser superhero team, you know, just just not as cool as the X Men or the Fantastic Four or the Avengers. It was just kind of th like a bunch of guys thrown together, kind of randomly. Um, but I just thought it was interesting to the, I thought it was a great page. First of all, like I'm not a really big Sal, you know, Busema fan. Um, but this was a cool, this was just a cool fight scene. The storytelling I thought was really good. And the middle panel, like, like really nice impact. But yeah, and I was looking at, um, uh, you know, you can, you can scroll, you, you know, just like the number one effect of it trying to think about this as somebody who comes from the slab side would think about it mm. uh, so i thought hey you know this is a this is kind of a cool page you know if i could pick it off for something cheap um you know maybe get away with four or five for it if 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 the market's soft um maybe you know maybe that would be like a decent pickup the the cover for defenders one sold for two hundred eighty eight thousand dollars <laughs> Yeah, and um, it looks like um, yeah, there's nine. The issue before this was hundred grand in yeah. 2019. Right, right. Is it's and scroll up, scroll up. You see the the first the first it's issue one. cover two hundred eighty eight thousand dollars. So this is a page from that issue. Um, I was just curious as to what it what it's worth, what it would go for as a slab head might think about it. Um, so there is something cool oh, to having a page one. from the first yeah. issue of of something, and and I do think it should be worth more, be, you know, just but but you know more than just whatever the pure aesthetics. This happens to be a very aesthetically pleasing page. So congrats to whoever got it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but then I was looking at like so for Avengers, <coughs> a page from the first issue of the Avengers. Um, there, those are going for 180, 118, 108, 108,000. Um, and then, but you, you know, what could you buy Defenders One for? You, those are going like high grade comics are going for like three to five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, right? But the high grade Avengers, um, comic, you know, I think they're like in the upper 200s. So it's interesting to think about the differing ratios of value. Whereas, you know, like the the pages from issue one of the Avengers are going for cheaper than what the slab is. But here, these are going for way, way, way more than what the slab is. So I, I think there are just some people that just uh, collect comic art sort of as a derivative of, of slab slab collecting. And, I, and that, that's kind of it's kind of fun to think about it. Right. To think about how other people do it, because I'm more of an aesthetics based guy you know for stories that i like um but uh i just thought it was an interesting example of of a, of a number one and you know on some metrics it looks like it's overvalued relative to the slab but it is undervalued relative to where other oa pages for for team books have gone um, because it is kind of like a second tier team and i mean i don't know relative to the cover you know Right, right. What's the what's the appropriate ratio of page to cover? It, it you can make an argument that that this was cheap or that the cover was wildly overvalued. Oh. And that was in that January January the most lights season. out auction. Lights out oh, auction, fine. right? So things were going just berserk. It was probably paid for in you know Ethereum and um, um, bag bag coin, which is, is short for for douche bag coin. Um, you know, like like it it it, it, it was probably uh, you know inflated by you know by that the auction. I, I can't. I don't even know how many pieces hit over two hundred grand. And this auction, this past heritage, I. You can see on multiple lots, right around a hundred people tapping mm -hmm. out. Right. right, like they just had a hard. Right. They had a hard 
stop or whatever. That's a good point. 100, yeah. You know? Yep. And uh, or at least until Sunday, you know, and then Sunday mm -hmm. was there weren't a lot of high price pieces, but yeah, there were, you know. Oh, so yeah, maybe few. to your point about the weakness in, in the market, like maybe if this if this first page was in that January auction, would it have gone for ten? It probably would have had some shine from that cover. Maybe people have some more money to go, you know, throw money at number one pages. Um, so it could have gone higher, but anyway, congrats to the buyer. I, I couldn't be very aggressive on it. Um, yeah, it seems solid. Seems like a solid buy, especially yeah. if you're a Sal, you know, Defenders fan. Yeah, I was trying to steal it, it in, in, but, but someone else, you know, I just, I was, I still had to save my money for, for later in the auction because I didn't know what I'd have to pay. All right. All right. We talked about this. Cool page, In man. One of our, uh, Good price, preview, too. Review, preview. For what it is, right? 16.8. I mean, Jim Lee stuff is soft, man. You know? Right now. I mean, it was like just tearing it up. And then suddenly, um, I mean, you know, his X-Men stuff still commands solid numbers. Um, people, w Some people might say this is a solid number. I don't think this is a solid number, man. You know, it's uh, obviously it's Jim Lee experimenting, but even then, I think mm -hmm. that that is meaningful. You know, yeah. Uh, so Where were Death Blow pages going for before? Death Blow? Yeah. I don't. I've never seen a Death Blow page before this. Right. Um, <laughs> let me see. I don't know. I, I, I'm sure not much will come up. Because I, I, we were both looking at that, and, and regardless of what Death Blow pages were going for, it was such a cool page that we th we both thought it was going to go higher. Just you know on the aesthetics, I, on the aesthetics I, uh, of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, there's a cover, okay? In, in June, yeah. 102 grand. Right. Um, another cover, yeah. 66 grand, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, DPS like this, like what? You know? Yeah, there's a page, like a single page that went for 13. And then some of these other ones are from, you know, almost 10 years ago. Yeah, those don't count. Yeah. Yep. You know, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is weak. I I agree with you. Um, Pretty weak. Yeah, and we'll go over some of his other weak stuff, you know. But um, yeah, he's, were, were other '90s guys weak as well? I think Larson got weak, you know, mm -hmm. relative to where he was. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess life felt life felt um, prelims. Yeah, what do you think about those prelims? <laughs> Did he fucking just make them? You know what? I I can't comment. You know, because this is a public uh, video. But um, I find it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that he managed to find those prelims at the top of the original art market and be able to auction them <laughs> off. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing. Master you know, of Kong. Good for food. posterity, you know. This is pretty yeah. cool. Um, Gene Day. Master is, of Kung Fu. Master of Kung Fu. How cool is this page? <laughs> Why did you what, what made you choose this page? I mean, that page, this cover. This cover. I just thought it was cool. You know, Ace of Spades with a skull on it. He's, he's got knives. He's cutting him. Blood is coming out on a Marvel cover. What is going on? Yeah. Um, and uh, I just remember I was a huge, huge Kung Fu fan uh, in the 70s and 80s. And uh, yeah, it was, it was super, super hot. Martial arts were so hot. And the thing I thought was cool about this comic at the time, I wasn't really a big reader of it, but I, you know, I'd flip through it. Um, 
was was the choreography was so important oh. to it. Kind of like all the you know, in like a kung fu movie, have you have all these moves and and these fight scenes that go on for a while. Whereas like a superhero comic, it's like one punch and the guy goes through the through the building and then the fight's over. This is like a complex series of moves. So I, I just I just thought it was cool. And then it ended up influencing, you know, who else but uh, Frank Miller, mm. um, you know, in terms of like having fight choreography be a big thing of his and Daredevil and like every book that he ever did. Um, so were, this was a you, big were you price. Were reading this comic? No, I was not. I was not reading this comic. I, I, I must confess. Um, this sold know. for $21,000. Okay. okay, so these Jean Day covers... Uh, in 2019, you could buy. They weren't as good as that one, but they were the gene. These covers were selling for three to five thousand. Yeah, there's this one here in 2019. Um, 111. What is this one? 115. Yeah. Um, it, so somebody had a whole bunch of these and was cons consigned them back in 2019, um, and then they came out with the movie in 21. So that I, that must be what have ro roofed these uh, these prices. So that whoever consigned them in 19 is probably, you know, like cursing Aquafina. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Interesting. Yeah. Big pump. Four X in three years. Right, so that's like the definitely the the uh, the the movie pump, the bus boy, the bus boy pump. That that fight scene is one of the best movie fight oh, yeah. scenes of Very all good. time. Very good. Yeah. I I I saw the movie. I liked it. Actually, I just saw um, uh, Doctor Strange last night <laughs> or the multiverse last night. Uh huh. Because, you know, the baby, I just haven't had a chance to watch movies, you know, in, in a long time. And uh, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Okay. I, you know, my, my expectations were low because it was lampooned like crazy. But mm -hmm. it was a cool, um, like, horror -y, you know. I like that, um, you know. Um, yeah. I, it, it, just, it was different. It was different yeah. from what... Um, you know, the Marvel MCU stuff has been, so I like it. All right. <laughs> Simpsons nice. Treehouse of Horror. Nice. Um, 5,000. Know, wow. Got, whoever bought that got off easy. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this is a big number or not. I am dying to get get a page from the simpsons for my son um you can't there's you don't see him you really don't see him yeah. I, I i need to do a little better job of hunting i think bill morrison's on calves so i should probably you know yeah you, can, you might as well hit him up i mean you I can help I... me out help me find it because uh, my son loves those comics he has he has like every single one of them so i can could... and there's a recently an omnibus came out the first volume i think it's supposed to be three volume oh really this of uh collecting the simpsons treehouse um, oh okay horror okay and this is what it was was from no this this is a prior um kind of special i think okay treehouse of horror special cover mm -hmm. um yeah, and then there's a bunch of other issues, but you know, I just it's painted nice on canvas. Great image of Bard and the the Homer voodoo doll. <laughs> you know, it's not nostalgia in the sense of like, oh, I read this thing when I was a kid, but you know, when I was younger, um, uh, you had a voodoo doll of your dad, and uh, you used to stick pins in the ass. <laughs> you know, there was like a there was a lot of uh Simpsons comics back then. Um, yeah, coming out, you know, kind of. Those uh, are so good, man. They're really funny. They're 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 really funny. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I just thought, hey, Morrison, you know, he does a great Simpsons. Um, I thought they did a great job of converting the show to comic book form. I mean, yeah. really, like it didn't literally lose much in the yeah. translation. Oh yeah. 
And so there was three of these covers. And this is the one I liked the most. And at least it wasn't the most expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least it wasn't the most. This one was the this one was the most expensive. Uh, okay. Which is cool. It was cool, you know. But yeah, you know, I like yours better. Yeah, I, I like no this one better. To whoever likes Frank and Frank and Bart. Yeah, I mean, I just like the the mood of this, the lighting, you know. Uh -huh. His his uh, his gleeful expression. Yeah, yeah. His, yeah. You know, you know, this one's cool too, and it was the cheapest one, but um, kind of boring, you know. Yeah, I, I think know. I think you won, Jason. Yeah, you know, I'm happy with it. Um, would have liked it to be cheaper, but um. I'll take it. Yep. Dick Tracy. Yeah, so I'm not you a like big putting those strips in here. <laughs> uh, these old, uh, old 80 year old, 75 year old. Yeah. Strips. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I'd like. What's this guy's name? He's the, I think he's the, uh, what is it? The influence, he's influences his name, right? It says right is there. It? Yeah, influence. Oh, influence. He's like a he's like a social he's like an influencer. All my um Dick Tracy knowledge is just from the the movie from the is it the eighties or the nineties with uh oh, yeah. Yeah. Warren Beatty? Warren Beatty and Madonna and, and, yeah, and yeah, Warren yeah. Beatty's like a million years old and yeah. they had to pretend like they were they were they were uh they that they were humping each other during the movie. They had to pretend like they were they were seeing each other to promote the movie, right? And then and like immediately after that was done, then then where did their relationship go? It's such uh, bullshit. It was so obvious. He was like he was like a billion faces, years old. Yeah. yeah. I just remember lips manless. Lips manless. <laughs> I like the I like the bad guys better than I'm you know, I thought it would be kind oh, of yeah. cool to have a Dick Tracy um um uh strip um i like the bad guys better than the uh good guys and i, oh, and I yeah. thought the character design of the of the bad guys are so good so i don't even I like dick tracy i don't really like that guy um you know but the way this character is drawn it's just so cool and then yeah. and then he he uses his mental powers in panel three you know to uh to to um you know and the, the panel two is cool too like the guy's talking these and influence isn't even looking at him he's like yeah you're you just know. like so you're so small and beneath me I don't even have to look at you when I talk to you right? <laughs> he's like sit on the floor oh, <laughs> sit on the floor boy <laughs> you're the, you're small you're small oh, <laughs> like they do in basketball you're small um so so I just thought it was a cool page and and you know I I. I, I think I might have been like underbidder on it or something like that. Oh I wow! Just, I couldn't, I, I couldn't go. I couldn't really. I, I had to try to save every single dollar for the the thing later in the auction. So makes I just, sense. Normally, makes I would have won it. I probably would have ended up bidding on like, this stuff. I probably would have been ended up paying like twenty five hundred or three thousand for it, and I just didn't want to do that. That was money that would take away from whatever I'd be able to use yeah. later. Okay. Um, There'll be another one. Don Rosa. Wow. Life and Times. That's a great page, man. Huge number. Um, you keep you keep picking these ones from books that my son loves. My son loves Uncle Scrooge, so I you know, you know I get him I get him those Carl Barks and Don Rosa hardcovers, hmm. and I thought about getting him a page until I saw what the prices were. I was like, I you was know, like, that. you're gonna have to get it for yourself. The prices, um, at least the last few auctions have been pretty reasonable. I've picked up like three pages. Mm. I think this might be the end of the road. And, you know, this is the scene where, um, you know, Scrooge strikes it rich, basically. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, in the that's, Yukon, right? Digging for gold. That's uh, meaningful. That's very cool. And that's why it went nuts. But also, you know, you're getting towards the end of the road of these pages and this realization is happening. If you look mm -hmm. like this, check out how this started, okay? A bunch of pages in here. Mm -hmm. 
this is the title um you know splash or title page or whatever right yeah and and you start off like whatever you know these are all decent pages yeah right you know and, and you hit like a low here under three grand and then now people are starting to realize like okay um there's not going to be many more pages left mm -hmm. right and they just got more and more wow. aggressive here towards the end right you know by and by the end you're going you know closing in on like huh. you know why did that one go for there was one that went for like three thousand in that last little string right i think there was just a lull there a lull okay you know? got maybe it, got like it. some yeah. guy you yep. know they were looking superficially right and say yeah. okay like i just see this black um you know this character right uh -huh. and um so maybe uh -huh. not a lot of scrooges in there right i was wondering if there was like one person who's just trying to put the whole thing together just being a maniac it's right? possible and, too that's possible you know and then um, and, and then towards the end like like someone was like shit i can't get a page and then and then kept on being underbitter you know to the, there's the one guy on the calf monty b who has mm. who ends up with a ton of these pages you know oh, okay i don't know wow but yeah i mean um you know, there's been a huge range on price for for mm -hmm. these pages, not just in this one, but the other mm -hmm. issues. And um, you know, it. I mean, it came on strong on Sunday, but a lot of stuff just you know shot the lights out on Sunday. You know, yeah. whereas coming in, I did not expect that with Friday. You know, I'm so glad you picked this one because I didn't I didn't realize the significance of it. Right, I did I didn't look closely enough. Yeah. Um, but uh if that's the page when uncle scrooge gets rich wow that's pretty cool yeah this is the life and times you know mm -hmm. the end yeah and with these prices you know now you have to you have to find gold in the desert to be able to afford any of this shit so yeah i mean you know they were in every uh signature auction for a while and uh you is know, this the last one that they were going I to do this the last this is it and then yeah. there, in the coming signatures there's like a page here or there probably people okay, like gotcha. selling back or whatever you know i was always amazed at how strong they went given that they were auctioning off an entire issue in each one yeah, yeah. I, I was i was kind of i mean it's a limited oh, number pages are going to slip through the know? cracks and go low they went strong the whole way, which I, I did. I just underestimated the demand for this I stuff. Mean, it's Didn't... Not, there's not a ton of pages in the story, you know? It's not yeah. like, um, you know, less than Dark Knight, I think. Yeah. Don Rosa, I mean, heralded as the successor to Carl Barks' legacy. Um, yeah. You know, and coming out with cool stories back in the 90s. My son loves this shit. So, sorry. Sorry, buddy. No page yeah, for you. Graphics has a, a huge, um, gigantic um, life and times like slipcase. Mm -hmm. It's like um, I can't even. I don't even know. It's like uh, it might be bigger than eleven by seventeen. Oh wow! Book. Oh. Yeah, but uh, great cool. book, great book. Like history, you know, Carl Barks, all that stuff. Like it talks about in there. All right, there. This is the first of the Walt Simonson. Oh, no, no. This first Walt Simonson page, it was an X Factor page. Yes. There were other pages that were Thor pages. Yes. Okay. So, so, um, so X Factor, and this, I think this was, uh, was this, the, yeah, this was a Friday page. Actually. It's a Friday page. It's a Friday it's page. Going off the price, it was a Friday page. Yeah. So, so, I mean, every, I think a lot of people know that Walt Simonson doesn't really sell his art. He he holds on to it. So what's kind of it's kind of cool when you see one of these pages come out and it's inked by by uh, Wyacek, right? So I remember we were talking about Ballin being inked by Austin. Like Simonson does ink a lot of his own stuff, but then um, Wyacek will 
did work with 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 him and i think i think they actually live uh pretty close to each other so maybe they're buddies or something i don't know but um uh anyway i just thought i just i just love i love walt's work and i've always wanted a page particularly from uh the thor series but i was thinking like okay if i if who knows so there are these thor these two pages from his classic run on thor um, you'll see a lot of his stuff inked by Dezaniga from the early part of his career, but you know when he was writing and and you know, that that epic series that, that the run of Thor that started with three thirty seven, you know Beta Ray Bill, um, that that whole run, um, I just loved that series and I and I thought I always I always wanted to get a try to get a page, but he doesn't sell his art right. So um, anyway, I I just thought like if I can't when you know i don't know what's going to happen with those later lots they almost never see these pages in the wild yeah um so maybe maybe this you know would make me feel like not awful but then it just went it went for too much and i think historically like these uh x factor pages typically go four to seven thousand dollars is where they've been selling for um for for um x factor and there have been there have been several um out in the wild yeah. you know, maybe because why a check inked it and maybe he got these pages and maybe he's been selling them i don't know well who but, knows i don't know yeah but uh it seemed this seemed light you know for me just initially just because simonson and original yeah team. they've been they've been four to seven so it was kind of in the range you know but uh, but um but yeah it could have gone stronger but maybe everybody who was might have been in the market for simonson um, was holding out for later like I was. Okay. Um, one of the rare um, huge numbers. Wow. Uh, this was on Friday. Huh. Well, Friday was weak, but yeah. this was not weak. To me, I don't know Friday Sandman uh, uh, really that weak. well. What was why is this one so this is, uh, 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 this is the first death issue? Okay, you know, and death is taking uh, you know, dream around, you know, doing you know, showing her him, you know, her doing her job, really, right? And uh, ah, uh, this is this a stat right here? Ooh, I don't know. Three and seven are stat paste ups. Right. Okay. Okay. This makes sense. Ah. Oh. Oof. Another stat right here. Wow. Very steady. And um, I mean, nice. Uh, you know. Huh. Middle tier, right? Yeah. Um. Looks like uh, Grandpa wandered into hot topic. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, this seemed like a huge number. Wow, it, wow, a really huge number for for what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is the first death issue, but is is it's not the first appearance of this is not the moment of the first appearance. Yeah. You know? So all you have to do is just be a page in the same issue as the first appearance, and I then yes, you know, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean. Okay, whatever. Did they know have fun with that. that. I don't know. Did they know there's <laughs> that? You know, two yeah. out of uh, seven pages. Okay. Or stats. Yeah. Okay. Does it matter? You know. Yeah. Who knows if it matters? You know. Wow. Very strong Beats price. This one from April. Better page, maybe. Yeah. You know, same issue. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this was one of the surprising ones, you know. Which you know what I think is. You you're gonna have your occasional like outlier on some of the best examples of something right that are available mm -hmm. in an auction right and right. obviously like of the sandman pages maybe this was number one just because of the mm. 
you know, first appearance issue, you know? Yeah. Have any other number eight issues sold before? Yeah, this this piece that, that right was here. one too. That was one also. I, that was that was eight as well. Ah, yeah. it looks like uh, yeah, looks like this scene in when Harry met Sally. So yeah, they, um, okay, so maybe eight is considered. Maybe that's that's why. And then and then maybe there's some maniac out there trying to put the book together or something. I have no idea. I don't. I mean, no. that seems like it would be hard. Yeah. Um. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but huge number, huge number. Yep. Um, you know, but it's Sandman, you know. Yeah, you think whoever got the last one would have been filled and wouldn't be bidding on this one too? So, yeah, you never. I mean, there's there's a lot of. Oh, it's also post show, right? So maybe I mean, there's yeah, that. I haven't seen yeah. it. I haven't seen this show. I heard it's great. Um, yeah, you know who knows? Yeah, maybe. Uh, hmm. Maybe a little Shang Chi. One Bus of the characters, yeah. one of the actors want want some, you know. Yeah. But then why why you know aren't the other pages you know mm -hmm. popping? Hmm. But yeah, this was just a a pretty huge number. It seems like it's a record breaking number. I don't know, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this broke all Sandman records. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. Okay. Oh, so actually, you know, we should we should go to the put them together. You know, like all the, right. You want to talk the, about yeah, the combo? Well, so, so the sequence of it. This was the first one. There were two pages um, from issue three forty eight, and and this was the first one, right? Um, and this was the se and there was the second one, and the second one's more of a battle page this is more of a setup page but this is actually the page that i like better the reason why i like this one better is that um i'm 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 more of a um <laughs> a roger guy so 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 in, in this in this series the the issues that i like the best were the ones where this this uh this guy i think he's like an ex-cop or something like that he he gets tossed up in this whole in this whole plot and and you're fearing for his life like thor you know thor is going to be fine nothing's going to happen to thor thor's going to be just okay um, but this guy i was worried about him the whole time right and and um malekith the uh, dark elf i just thought you know i loved how he would be transported around um you know with with zooming you know with his head kind of like a giant elf sperm um so so and and Wyacek, he did a really good job of doing Walt. And if you've ever seen his work, he seems to be able to modify his inking style to whoever he's penciling. So the fact that it's inked by Wyacek didn't really it didn't really bug me that wow. much because and and then Simonson inked by Simonson, like what is he he's saying? I mean, you hear different things. He says, oh, I'm going to leave it to my kids. But he's really old, so his kids must be old, too. So his kids are probably like, fuck you, Dad. <laughs> you know, you should... Why couldn't you give me the art, you know, so I could sell it and, and buy something with it? You know, I'm gonna, then, you know, they're like, I'm going to be like 70 by the time you die. Um, and then you're saying that he's going to give it to um, his alma mater, right? That was the other thing that, you know, that he, that he said. Yeah. Um, so... I don't know if I'm ever going to get a chance to get any of these pages. Uh, and I, I was figuring that a lot of people would like the second one better, but Roger's in silhouette there. So that doesn't really work for me. And it's not even Roger. It's fake Roger. It's Thor pretending to be Roger so that Malekith yeah. tries to zap him. Um, so yeah, I, the other one worked for me more, even though there's more Thor on this page. So, so I, you know, we, we were talking about, Jason, you know, you and I were talking about strategy and how to, how to go after this one. And honestly, I had no idea what this was going to sell for. I was thinking like, okay, if, if their X factor pages go for four to seven, what should this go for? There, there was one, one of these pages sold for in 2013 for three, you know, 3,500 from the same issue, 348. Uh, so I, you know, I, I had no idea what this could go for in this environment. Is it going to go for 20, 30, 40, like 50? This is one of the epic runs that everybody wants a page from. 
and we got two pages in this auction and they buried it at the end of the Sunday. So like a lot of people weren't even aware, you know, because like who knows to look out for Simons and Thor because he never sells from this run. So, so yeah, I, I, I went after this page pretty hot and heavy and I was, I was surprised at where it stopped out. I didn't think yeah. it was, I didn't think it was going to stop here. Um, so uh, I was just, I mean, it's all, it's like, it's like, this is a shit ton of money. Right. I mean, so I was, I mean, to a certain extent, I'm not that happy about the price, <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I, there's some people that are like, Oh, well, it's just a Thor B page. Like, Oh, why, why does it go for so much? And it's like, cause you can't get Simon's and Thor. I, I mean, you I thought they're both great it. pages. Uh, they're both great, but I, I prefer your page too. I, I like the images, you know, of Thor in here and, just a general you know action in, in the panels you know not a big fan of a huge tier of like you know outline you know yeah yeah the, the bottom that bottom panel though is really cool the thor yeah I guess, out, you know. right but i i yeah I, both you know that's what makes a market right everybody's got different taste um so then so then uh the second one comes up and you know i i I didn't bid on it at all. Oh. And but it, your immediate thing to me was like, why didn't you go after that one too? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, like, I said that, I said yeah. that because, you yeah. know, you were think you were thinking a big number for this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, all right, it comes in at, what if it comes in at less than half that number, then right. why not have two for that number? Yeah. Right. If no, you mentally it, already it, said, okay, I'm willing to put down, you know, whatever, 40 plus, right? All right. And you that get wouldn't then this number. Sounds like the deal of a lifetime. And if yeah. you get both, um, you know, yeah. why not? It's a nice sequence, right? It's, it, it's it, a, would be, it would have been a nice sequence, but that 16 8 wouldn't have been what I paid because then there would you have know? been some other dude yeah, who yeah. was about to get and, full mode. Yeah, no one's saying push it, right? You don't have to push it, but, you know, if you can. He's, he's gonna get fumbled out. out, so he might have taken it to twenty or twenty-five. I mean, who knows? But I, mean, I was just, I was we just talked about, which is what we talked about. And yeah, it's, it's, I was just so relieved. I was just so relieved that um, it went well under what I was expecting, and I'm just so thrilled to own this because I just remember, you know, reading. I, I remember distinctly where I was. I was on a train going out to visit my um, my. Uh, orthodontist in Queens. So I lived in Manhattan, but my dad knew this guy in uh, um, this orthodontist in Queens. And it was like an hour and a half ride. <laughs> Felt like it, you know, going from my house to theirs on the subway. I have to go. It was just absolutely brutal trip. And, wow. uh, um, but I remember reading Thor or had the Thor comic on that, on that trip. And, uh, just reading it and such fond memories of this storyline and, and, and how much I enjoyed it. So there's like, there's aesthetic reasons why I love this page. I mean, just the movement of it and all that there, there are character reasons. It's got my favorite character from it. You know, it's like a really random guy that probably nobody else cares about. Um, if they had oh, melody, yeah. like the, uh, the, uh, um, Lorelei, you know, like the super, the super hot chick that, um, was, uh, entrancing, uh thor in it as well that would have been absolutely perfect but hey yeah. beggars can't be choosers i'm just i'm just i'm just i'm just so thrilled and happy to have this big congrats piece of my piece of my uh my youth big um, congrats yo yeah at a price i could live with but it, yeah, yeah it, it uh it, i was i was i was super thrilled huge get yes yeah and you know if it was uh January 2022, you know. Who knows? Be, yeah. If they put it in like the main part of the auction, as they probably should have, um, it, it could have gone for more, I suspect. Okay. Ah. Uh, Oof. Look at that page. Here's one. Very you know, aesthetically pleasing. Um, I always track Sandman. I, I've, I've, been working on trying to get Sandman. You know, I had one potential deal, you know, that I just almost went nuts on. I'm talking about record breaking numbers, um, you know, much earlier in the year. 
not work out. And I was just like, whatever, you know, let's, let's see what happens and, and just put it on the back burner. Um, but then this auction had a bunch of them. And then everyone's eyes were clearly on that number eight issue. And then, um, you know, following that were, you know, three solid pages, you know, um, you love that setup. That is like your, 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 oh, your yeah. jam. And, and, you know, I, I wasn't expecting to even bid. I was just, okay, let's keep an eye on it. And then, um, what happened was, um, the page before this, uh, this page mm -hmm. went for what I thought was, uh, decently cheap. There's a stat on this page too. Uh huh. Okay. So it went decently cheap. Um, and then you know, but I was like, I was like texting with somebody, right? So I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't bid. Was I? Was it me? Was I? Was I screwing you up? No, no, no. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, but you know, probably like, in my mind, this page was might have been the best. Okay. Um, you know, no stats wise, and oh, hands and, down, it's for me artistically, it was the best of the bunch. Yeah, just illustration wise, like look at this image, you know. Oh um, man, the, the last, the last, uh, the like the follow me on the last panel with the with yeah. the stairs and everything. Oh, just so good, man. Every panel is great. Great image. Uh, you know, the whole crew is here. You know, they're yeah. small, but you know, they're walking and it's a great yeah. angle, great perspective. The variation uh, of all the looks and the yeah, I mean the, the you know, whenever uh, whenever you have uh, uh, delirium, you know, um, the Todd Klein lettering is like this and and really nice um you know death in there nice mm -hmm. outfit you know um yeah i thought it's a great page great story um and it was too cheap it was pro it was to me um below fair value mm -hmm. um, was this your first know, one Yes, it's my first one. You've been on the hunt for one of these for years. For a while. You yeah. Know, for a while. And, um, yeah. you know, but I wasn't going to go, like, you know, to the mat over and over. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, you know, why then when there's other options. But this was just too easy. It was too Good easy. Patience, was, man. This is, know, this, is, this, is, this is one of the best that I've seen, aesthetic, you know, aesthetically. Yeah. You know, I, don't, was, I don't know uh, about the story or anything like that, but. It was, very it, was cool. it was weak, weak bidding, very weak bidding, multiple cut bids coming. You know, there was like probably three or four people after it, but all coming in with cut bids. Mm -hmm. And I won it with one bid, a cut bid that wasn't beat, you know. That's and, awesome. Um, Congrats, dude. This is great. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, I love when that happens. When yeah. uh, love when, how the guy's hand breaks the panel on the second, the top of the second panel. Yeah. Yes. You know, that, that 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 really um guides the eye to where you know to from the first panel guides it up and then comes back down to the third panel yeah and then the the yeah. arm of death the arm of death points to the uh you know beautiful down to, page. The, to the next panel right i mean it's just yep. so so nice beautiful page yeah. and uh happy to have it at this uh price especially um yeah, I mean, you know, who doesn't like it when they get art cheaply? Not I mean, this one, <laughs> it's just cheap, you know. I think you I, like it more than than most people that I know. I mean, you just you just you just it just delights you. Yes. Yes, I mean, it just because like it's it's not. I'm not getting the page because it's cheap. I want the page, and it's cheap. You know. Yes. So it's um. You know, I'm not, it's not like, oh, there's two ways to look at it, right? It's just like, oh, I can sell this for whatever dealer style, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, I could flip this for 50% for more. Or it's like, hey, I, I've been, I want a Sandman page. This is a great one. And I pay less than what I would have to normally to get it, you know? Right, right. Let's say from a dealer's website or, you know, mm -hmm. from any auction that you know wasn't a, a semi-soft auction as far as having four no no i mean this auction had like six 
six or seven Sandman pieces, you know, mm -hmm. um, much later on, a couple more, you know, or, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And so it just, it just, uh, fell into my lap and, uh, mm -hmm. I think it was the cheapest of the, of this lot of these three. Um, yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You probably cleaned you know? out a lot of people with all those Sandman pages up there. A lot of people got filled and didn't have any more Sandman bucks left at the end to, to yeah, throw at I that mean, This one. came after, this page, uh, you know, was after in the bidding. I don't know why it went higher. Yeah, bro. Your page is better than this one. Yeah. I'm Your not sure why it went higher. Much better than that it, one. It's probably the case of, uh, you know, holy crap, how did I let that one through? Yeah. Meaning this page. Yeah. And then, oh, I, you know, I need one too. And then a couple people, you know, the, Mm -hmm. gained their senses and pushed it up a little bit higher yeah great setup for you man congrats dude i love it that's love awesome it. it's such a great page it's love a it. plus plus. thanks man all righty yeah we, i just thought it was Me. interesting you know um there's the you know the the lack of um like really seeing v or any main characters you know, on directly on panel, like I think that's his might be his finger pushing the button and he's silhouetted. And there's this sort of weird, creepy relationship between this uh, dominant lady and her subservient uh, toad of a man. Um, but then, um, you know, can we agree that so this, this might not be like a page that would excite people, but then can we agree that Alan Moore pages can be really interesting and special just because of the words on the page right yeah so, I mean, so if this was like know, a modern comic and then the lettering's put in later i mean geez, that, the, that'd be kind of tough but i mean he go he goes off like look at the first panel um you know authority allows two roles the torture and the torture twists people into joyless mannequins that fear and hate while culture plunges into the abyss <laughs> is that what's happening to us now <laughs> Um, authority deforms the rearing of their children, makes a cockfight of their love, right? And then, you know, just like this whole like psychological tension between these two, it's just so different from what you see in most comics. Wow. It's so it's so mature and so um, I, I don't know, so thought provoking in a way, and then and it makes you feel something, right? And isn't that what art's trying to do? It's trying to make you feel something. So this. You know, whoever got it, got it for a great price, you know. Friday, and, another another Friday deal, okay? This was a Friday deal. Yeah. And, and that's what, this is what I mean by like, what, 20, 30% off, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, other pages. Is it not reasonable for this to go for 20, right? Could have, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I it, mean it, it, other, other better pay, you know, like what, what people call quote unquote better pages. Have been going anywhere between thirty to fifty, right? So th yeah, clearly, I this mean, is this this doesn't check the boxes for a lot of people, like the other ones did. But I it's think still... you gotta say, you know, let's say privately anywhere, right? Yeah. Let's say outside of auction, you're going to try to get a V page, and this is available. Yeah. Right. You probably at least need a pony of twenty. You know. Yeah. I put and in some so... half-hearted bids on it, but because it was Friday, and I knew. Um, you know, Uncle Walt was coming on the, on Sunday. I couldn't be aggressive on it. Yeah, I mean, I think this is part of the Friday softness, you know, and uh, but it wasn't a total collapse, right? It's like there was enough strength on Friday, here and there, for people to mm -hmm. to feel good on Sunday. Yeah. They had a they had a day to rest, come back Sunday, mm -hmm. and like, yeah, we're we're not collapsing. Let's let's. Yeah, get some, you know, this was a weird page that not many people would want. So I, I can see why it went lower than than others, but pro it probably, to your point, went lower than it might have gone in a stronger yeah. in a stronger tape or or you know in a in a private deal. Thursday page. Oh man, dude, this is like the one. We talked about this page. Yeah, the one '90s book that that 268 sort of it was the demarcation of when I stopped reading comics. I um I just remember this book so well, and I yeah. remember trying to 
copy and trace uh, so many of the drawings in this book. I mean, and then I stopped reading comics. Ninjas, incredible ninjas, incredible yes. cap image. Yes. Um, great posing. Great, great action, action. Great action. Great choreography. All that, man. But no X-Men. Uh, 78. 78. When, you know what? It, it Add add at least 30% to this, right? Like, yeah. you know, to get it to 100. How um, memorable is this? And it's got the title, it's got the title, pay, you know, the title header on it. Oh, yeah. Knights Nights and with the, with the list of all the artists and the and the uh, writer on it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just cool. This is just There is cool. a list. There is a long list of of pieces from Thursday Friday that you could add 20-30% to get to, you know, what would be the expected price and it came under, you know? Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean like, yeah, of course you most people want like 50% whatever or mm -hmm. more to be able to say it's weak, but to me Hey, prices have been somewhere, and then suddenly they're thirty percent off. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's weakness. I don't know. You know, that is softness. You know, yeah. and, uh, this was that. You know, including that view page. Um, Did these guys that. put a little extra into it? This issue, I don't know, man. But I just remember so many memorable images from it. But yeah. maybe that's because I didn't buy any of the ones after two sixty eight. <laughs> uh what year was this i'm just curious was it done? 90 90 yeah yeah that's all right so you know solid deal i guess you know i don't know you know Unless relative, relative to where it had been i mean it's still expensive as fuck but you know yeah. it, it's it's super all right tim sale they'll Daredevil Yellow number two. Whole yeah, thing. yeah. So it's is interesting because um um this was my favorite page in the bunch. Um, I, you know, even with like the cover with um, I just I, I just like I it. like Daredevil choreography. If I've got I'm not I wouldn't characterize myself as being a character driven um, collector at all. But if if there's one character that I love, it's Daredevil, and I will break the rule of you know buying it when I don't necessarily know the book so this was one sequence that i just thought it was a great drawing of the cityscape um you know in the, in the first panel uh and just kind of cool choreography with great him. cartooning great cartooning yeah and yeah and, and, and the wash effect you know like oh. the using you know like three levels of tone to define everything maybe yeah. even maybe even more than that um and and the way you know he thinks about how to make the whites pop um it it, it it's just a cool page but then you know I, I and i couldn't really go aggressively after it because sale becomes roy simonson and i read the i read the i read the uh you know i wanted to know what i was sorry i just read read the book and i and i just didn't like the story i you know at the end of the day um you know, and, and I don't know. No offense if you if 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 uh, anybody loves this story and thinks it was the second greatest story ever told. Um, to me, it was just sort of a rehashing of. Uh, it was just kind of rehashing the the origin story. Didn't really add much to it, you know. Versus the yeah. original um, origin story that was told very first Daredevil, unlike Frank, Mi my boy Frank Miller and uh, JRJR. Um, the man without fear, they just went off on that. So I, I still don't have a page from that. I would love to have a page from that book. Um, but um, this, this I just felt was like a really simplistic retelling of the story. Didn't really add much. Yeah. I mean, it was, uh, you character. know, I think they did an experiment with multiple characters and, um, you know, I mean, uh, I think it's all about the Tim Sale art, really, when it comes down to it. And yeah, no, it does. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful page. I, I, um, I, and I put in like a low, low ball, but um, it was, it's, uh, yep. I mean, yeah, the, the, the prices art. were um, very tremendously. I don't know what to say. You know, I thought they I were mean, strong. The the cover yeah. at almost sixty, like who would have thought that? 
this yeah. EPS at, <laughs> at 36, like, <clears throat> you know, it, is, it started out pretty incredible and then just like tailed off a lot. Yeah, there were some weaker pages in the bunch. Um, I actually, you know, but everybody, but there's probably like a lot of, uh, you know, feeling and affection for for uh, for Tim. You know, given 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 that he just recently passed, and and um, you know, probably m make people feel stronger about his wanting to own a piece of his his work. You know, just in in some way to uh, to honor him, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge. It's, this is a be look at this thing. That's beautiful. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's but it's beautiful. a huge number. <laughs> it's a big number, yeah. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but a damn huge number for that. Yes, and, sir. Um, yeah, I won uh, the cheapest one. <laughs> I won this one. Oh, nice. That's that's a great one. Uh, that was, was the cheapest, cheapest one? one. There were a lot of worse pages than that one. That uh, one, to me, that it was actually it was good. good action. Um, yeah, good you know, action. He's only in one panel, or you know. One and a half, but uh, yeah, but he's kicking cool. ass and he's a fight it's scene. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's the, good value. The thug looks, you know, cool. You know, it's just good action and yeah. good. Uh, do you think it's the? Cartoon. Do you think it's the second greatest story ever told, Jason? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. It's uh, cool art. Yeah. I don't know. Has someone yeah. said that? Who said that? You know. No, um, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I, I just, I just. Uh, I mean, it's you know, it's it's um. It's a great example and a chance to get, you know, some mm -hmm. one of the few, you know, Tim Sale. Yeah. Art pages. from a special you know, artist. Like, yep. There's not going to be many more. I mean, anymore, you know, yeah. not like he was like so prolific, you know, mm -hmm. um, as far as, you know, published work. Right. Out, yeah. I mean, outside of variant covers, things mm -hmm. like that, you know. Hmm. Um, cool. Yeah, man, Jason, you were you were you were uh, you went off this auction. You were you were prolific. Yeah, that's I guess that's why I'm selling so much. <laughs> oh man, we well, got great stuff. So congrats, it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh, this is cool. That man, Paul Pope, my boy. Yeah, Paul this Pope. is cool. He's this my is guy. Really cool. And uh, you know how. It would be great to have this. You know, I didn't bring it up in that auction preview just because I had this is this was probably the only piece I truly had my eye on. Uh -huh. yeah, like, yeah. Um, you know, I, I'd like this, but not like you. You know, I, I mean, there's it's rare for me to go into an auction like I'm going to the mat for this thing, you know? Yeah, because I have a lot of Pope and uh, uh -huh. and this would just be like more icing on the cake, you know? You've got a great, you've got a great uh, Batman Year One Hundred page. Yeah, I got a great page. A great one. Yeah, icing on the cake. You know, yeah. like the model sheet. Like, yeah, this is him prepping. Um, you know, and the uh, the chuckle from uh, that you pointed out, mucha libre, yeah. mucha libre, <laughs> Mexican wrestlers mask. <laughs> Maybe Paul was up late that night. Yeah, you know, I would, I would just be know. chuckling every time I saw that, you know? Yeah. So, at so much character, you know? Yeah, really charming. Yeah. It, it, imagine this on the wall in a frame. Yeah, um, and, and 19 know. by 24. Yeah, um, I, I know the guy who won it. I'm, I'm really happy for him. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, he, it's, he's, it's he's very been cool. after it. Uh, F him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people uh, curse his name a lot. I think. I think he. I think he gets a lot of. He gets a lot of great stuff. Yeah, just he, kidding. Uh, you know, it's 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 a congrats. You know, to whoever has this. I don't. You know, yes. price wise, I, I price. would call it a high price. I think that's worth. Uh, you know, yeah, I think it's worth yeah. it. It's big. It's it definitely appears to be big, but for what it is, it's cool as fuck. And, yeah. uh, and what's is, what's the size on it? It's big, right? And nineteen Pope by twenty four standard Pope size. Standard Pope size. Look, oh. look. Oh, they have a picture of it in the frame, right? I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look. Gr oh man, yeah. Oh look, it's floated in the frame. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. You get a free frame. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, fifteen six. Um, you know, look, I, I was, 
I going in was hoping it would be under like it would fall under the radar, right? Maybe like eight, you know, something like that. And yeah. uh, it went for double that, and yep. and it could have gone for another eight higher, you know. Sure. Uh, and I um I, I was I, this was one of the ones price. that I had highlighted myself, and and you know we talked about it before, and you were interested in it, so I was like, okay, cool, I'm I'll I'll stay out of the way. You yeah, know? it's um, not a steal. It's um, but it's a great price, you know. Yeah. And um, Pope Pope Year One Hundred pages have been going for a pretty. You know, I mean, the ones with like good shots of Batman, et cetera, et cetera, have been going for higher numbers. This could easily um, have gone 20 plus. OK. Yeah. And uh, once again, why? Friday. OK. If this yeah. went, I guarantee you, yo, if, I promise you, if this went Sunday, it would have hit 20. It probably so? would have hit 20. Really? Dude, it was just, it's a tale of two auctions. It's totally yeah. different. Do you not remember Friday? Just like, yeah. No, it was kind of dragging. And Sunday, every every piece, almost every piece felt like it was contested on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. It and did I, seem like that. And I, I will say that, yeah, maybe, maybe, um, maybe the guy who posts 100 to calf, I mean, maybe he like he skipped the first part. I don't know. It, it was, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like even the bidding action, right? Like, yeah. you know, I think I, I, you know, I don't, I don't watch every piece, but as far as a lot of things that I was interested mm -hmm. in, like Friday, so much weak bidding, it was unbelievable, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and then Sunday, you know, it was strong. It was like the, the bidders were yeah. strong there were, no one was coming weak with their bids. Like, you know, you couldn't limp in and get a, get a, piece you know i tried it i tried to win a bunch of things on a on a limpy basis yeah. you know as we've seen and uh I, I i got i got nothing in the june however i did win a couple of pieces for like with with weak bids mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. well under what i thought that they mm -hmm. were worth and you know like one case it was it was like about it had sold at heritage you know five years ago or something like that for a price that was way higher and it must have been so disappointing to the consigner because i think mm -hmm. it was i think i paid like 60 70 percent less than what it sold for at auction oh, just wow. five years prior like wow. I, I i just put in there was the pre-bidding and i just put in one bid and then it just no one else showed up yeah yeah it was so weird. I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be a winner. I was kind of expecting not to have to. Always a good feeling. Always good. Yeah, and then until I until like like I I I'd done that a couple of times, and then I had to pay for everything. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. But this Pope, um, good price. Uh, congrats, man. Congrats to the winner. Um, freaking great yeah, piece. Such a satisfying piece. Wow. wow. Freaking so cool. great piece here. So cool. And uh, underbitter on this thing, man. Wow, that was the underbitter on this thing, dude. You're lucky. You're lucky you didn't get it, man. Holy shit! <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is high or low. I thought that's this a lot of bidding, man. Deal. No, I'm just talking think, about like the overall number. My God, that's a big auction. Uh, dude. I think it was a decent deal. Yeah. You know, I even then at this point when I got in and I was underbitter, like. You know, I probably could have won it with with one more bid. That's yeah. my feeling on it. That's you know? a crazy piece, man. So cool. Yeah, I I think I could have won it with one more bid, um, but you know it would just have been extremely irresponsible of me. You know, mm -hmm. and I'd have to sell way more. Yeah, super cool. And it's a great piece, but um. Kirby, you know, the king, DPS, giant, you know, piece, ink by Royer, you know. There's a lot to like. Half, half of the page is the demon and Kirby monsters and, you know, yeah. uh, it's just fantastic. But, um, yeah, I mean, coming in like earlier when this, when this first came, got uploaded i imagine 
higher above 50 for sure you know mm -hmm. 60 maybe you know we were thinking I mean, we were talking about we were thinking it was gonna be it was gonna be higher than this yeah yeah for sure and, um and it's still it's under 50 and yeah. uh you know i won't claim to be a kirby market expert but it just seemed seemed like it was gonna go go for more it was the first day he was on the you know it's like first day highlighted yeah. piece it was thursday um, super it cool was early thursday i, I was dropping yeah. my kids off at school yeah and um that's probably why i could have made you know i couldn't do it because i was just like driving you know and uh mm -hmm. yeah you got you, know. you got great value on that sandman uh oh yeah um, yeah yeah and i wouldn't have it if i won this i'd be right. i would have been yeah. done you know if i won yeah. this yeah so yeah i mean cool. happy happy getting a sandman page um you know but once again kind of weak you know i mean after, as an absolute number of course this is not weak right yeah. of course this number as an absolute number is not weak it's weak relative to where stuff like this has been this entire year you know mm -hmm. that's my point if if we go through we go through and look at these numbers like oh these numbers are strong you know all five figures you know mm -hmm. but like are they you know mm -hmm. where were where was this stuff? oh it did, was oh. it defenders cover let's just see a right? jack kirby, kirby defenders. defenders 45 cover so oh, it's later you know but yeah you know still kirby it's still yeah. kirby right yeah you know i don't know right so i mean um you know i don't think the auction was like yeah. incredible you know i guess anything compared to that january auction though is going to look very weak by comparison for sure uh, and this is a page we talked about oh, yeah that was cool yeah, that was a cool page right and yeah uh, Beautiful, grand. beautiful inks. Pretty good deal, you know? Yeah. Pretty good deal. <laughs> Kirby Tech, you know, like, this is a great, great deal. Yeah, Tales of Suspense, too. That's uh, that's kind of cool to have something from that old-timey title. Yeah, Joe, Joe Sinnott inking, you know? Mm -hmm. What year is the 68? <laughs> yeah, so I don't think it's twice up, but... um. Oh, great page. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, my friend. You know, good uh auction exciting, review. exciting auction, yeah. right? Like I mean, we got we both got something on our OA bucket lists. You got a Sandman page, and I got I got that uh Simonson Thorpe page. Oh yeah. Um and, about the same and, price. About the same yeah, price. Yeah. About the same. About the same. I had to kill something to buy it. So effectively I looked at it as a as a trade. Yeah, no, well, that's the same thing with me is um, yeah. I I'm I'm unloading, I'm selling whatever I feel like is beneath, you know, what I got. Yep. You know, to make it yep. as much of a trade as I can. I had something really, really nice, but um you know, there's, there's that 1980s nostalgia thing that I have that just puts, <laughs> deprioritizes everything, even if it's really great. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, is what it is. But I, I just thought I got off easy. I, I thought that, that that thing was going higher because you just don't see him out there. Yeah. And, and yeah, Simonson inked himself on most of that run. So he must have, I don't know, maybe his hand hurt, you know, <laughs> and he's like, hey, Bob, come over and ink this for me, you know, and then he ended up, Bob ended up getting some pages and, you know, Bob's not giving his art to his alma mater or his kids. Yeah. He's I like, mean, he's you know, like, I, I he's, think like, it, he's like, regardless Shh. whether or not Simon's and art ever pops into the market, I think you got a price that, you know, you don't have to worry about that, right? It's like yeah. low enough where... You know that's probably something is in the range of where they they would all be anyway. You know, if if all of them were on the market, you know, at some yeah. point in time. 
Yeah. I mean, maybe we marked down because why check inked it, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, um, versus, you know, Simonson inking Simonson. Yeah. But to me, to my eye, it doesn't look all that different, you know, from how Walt might've inked it. I think he did a great job of, of adapting to the style. Um, and if he never, let's say, let's say none of, none of this art ever, ever makes it out into the wild. If it's sitting in, you know, like a college museum somewhere, um, then there are very, very few out there in circulation. I think, I think Walt might have sold some covers to some people at some point, like back no. in the day. I've heard talk about that. But um, anyway, just thrilled to have it. Have a little piece of my childhood that, um, uh, you know, I can, I can, and and that Sandman page you got, man, so cool, really cool, man. Just yeah, aesthetically we'll be, beautiful, we'll, we'll and I know I know it. you've been after it for a while, so that we'll was really satisfying to yeah. see you win that. It's good to uh, good to good to you know fill holes, right? Big holes that that you've been looking yeah. to fill, right? Yeah, super. So yeah, all right. Well, all right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Have yeah. A very happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah. If you made it this far, um, you know. And uh, uh, gold giant, we're, you we're should probably have higher and... uses for your time than listening to us, but yeah. uh, that's okay. Yep. And uh, see I'm you sad next for time. you, but thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, a lot of fun. Always enjoy it. Okay. All right, buddy. Good night.